boom, boom. I'm, I'm all right, what is up? Ain't nobody in the house, but that's all right. I'm used to being alone, lonely. Here's the thing. Um, I got a lot to do today. I got all my water changes need to be done today. I don't do that um, water change Wednesday thing. I kind of do water change whenever I get time, which I got time today. I'm also gonna. Um, I'm also going to go down to the creek. I'm gonna go down to the creek, and you know what's funny? Right now I'm talking. Ain't nobody in the chat. So if you're watching the replay, you're you're all alone. There's nobody here. I'm talking to myself. So I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna uh go down to the the creek and start getting me some, I'm gonna get me some water with stereo. Um I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna bang up I'm gonna really really lean into this uh well I'm gonna work hey two people in the chat how you doing if you're uh, in the house um please leave a like but most importantly say hello let me know who's here I don't know who you are you're just back in the in the background in the dark. I'm looking out. I'm looking out. And I can't see nobody. Because you're in the dark. Smoking. Drinking martinis. Dirty martinis. Like, what's the dude's name? 007. Um, but everything I'm saying now, I'm going to have to repeat. <laughs> oh, please don't tell me there's something going on with my chat. If you guys are saying hello, hello. You know what? Let me see if I can get on my other device. My other... Look, I love when it, it kind of like jumps. Uh, uh, uh. Anyway, how y'all been today? I hope you are doing well because I know I am. I'm having actually a good day. A real good day. I got me some sleep. Um, all the, Hey, there it is. I see somebody. Um, 3G, what is up, homie? Mr. Funny Man, the comedian, 3G, fishing and lurk. You're fishing? Are you fishing like at a lake or at a river, at a stream, at the ocean? Vodowski. What's up, Tim? How are you doing? Glad to meet you. Um, what you fishing for there, um, G3, 3G? Are you fishing for native fish to put in your aquarium? Yeah, don't be shy. Go ahead. Hit that like button on your way in. I really appreciate it. It's only a small gesture on your part, but it does wonders for the channel. You yeah, know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I'm curious. What you're fishing for? Um, are you doing native collecting? What you doing? Are you fishing for dinner? Has, has time's rough? What's up, Ian? How you doing? Aquarium magic. It, okay, I, I think, Ian, I think, I don't know. Let me see if I can find you. Aquarium magic. That's that's an interesting name. Are you a, a, a new aquarium channel on YouTube? I'm going to find out. I'm going to find out. That's what I'm going to do. Aquarium magic. Um, Aquarium Magic. Let's let's find you. Oh, there you go. Let's see. Aquarium. What? What the hell is this? All I see is a whole bunch of other stuff. That's all right. I'll 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 find you, brother. I'll find you. I will find you. So we got twelve people in the chat. One thumbs up. That's all right. I got to earn your thumb up. I'm gonna try to do that. Uh. Lake fishing for crappy and white perch for my belly. What's good, streamer? What we talking about here? Well, Jet, I got to be honest with you, Jet. Um, I am an aquarium channel. Tropical aquarium fish is my thing. It's my kink. It's what I do. So I would normally like to talk about aquarium fish if anybody has any questions i would love to help them out with that i want you to be successful in your aquarium hobby but normally it doesn't turn out that way normally i'm talking about everything else except aquariums because people know i'm a sucker um 
for the trolley trolls and they come in here and they pick out me and they they poke the bear and i go at them and that's all right or normally i'm just talking about whatever random thing is popping in my head which normally makes people kind of can't believe you said that saturday morning funkiness lumpy dog in the house turkey in hand i helped with the pro promise turkey and ham i helped with the promise why am I drawing a blank? Tank fish talk. Do you have jets? Do you have? I was on live stream. My mom spoke to you from. Oh, yes. I remember you. I totally remember you. Your mom was awesome. I talked to. Hey, look, listen, listen, y'all. This is why I love doing this. I ain't going to lie to you. Um, I think they are. And I would love to have one one of these days. When I move into a house, um, Octopus is definitely going to be a, a featured um, fish. But um, I talked to Ian. I, I remember I remember Ian. I remember 100%. You're in, you're in England, but your mom was in um, Scotland. I remember. This is one of the reasons why I love doing this is because I get to talk to people that I wouldn't normally get to talk to all over the world. Um, your mom was lovely. I, I'm so happy. Um, and my hat. No, my hat is not crooked. Um, it's an optical illusion. I think it's AI. I think it's AI. I called them octopuses <laughs> one time and got shadow. Why? I don't know why. I like to call them octopuses. What's wrong with that? I don't understand what the problem is. Is that like, is one is one is an octopus, and if you got multiple, <laughs> I knew you was there, AI. I knew you over here messing. People think I got a crooked hat when I know it's you. When well, you got one is an octopus. And if you got two octopuses, there's two of them. And that's the way it goes, right? I believe that's the way. I don't know, Jet. I don't know. It's people, you know, people get offended. They get butt hurt. I don't know what to tell you, brother. But I will tell you this. Normally, I like to start out on a good foot. So we got 19 in the chat. I appreciate everybody's thumbs up. If you did it, I, I think two did. But at any rate, um, one thing I like to do is start off on a good foot. So we're going to go ahead and start off with everybody's favorite, favorite song. You're going to love this song if you've never heard it. And uh, you're in for a treat. Like I've often said, I can bring about world peace. I know a lot of you don't think so. What's up, Fish Link? Fish Fam Link? I know a lot of you may not think so that, oh, what's he talking about? He could bring world peace. Yes, 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 I could bring world peace. Um, and that's evident because I brought. You coming off what? I don't understand what that is, AI, but uh, I only have good intentions. I only have good intentions. Anyway, so. I brought together two world leaders that are mortal enemies. How many guppies can I keep in a 75-gallon Bicer Aquarium? You can keep as many as will stay alive to the next day. That's all I'm saying. I would love to see that. I ain't going to lie to you. That would be actually a funny, funny tank if someone... It would only be funny if someone didn't know. You know, like if somebody knew what would happen, you know, that, that would be... Hold on, wait. If somebody left all them all put a bunch of guppies in a 75 Bicer Aquarium, Bicer Fish, and not knew, they just thought it would look cool. It would actually be funny. But if somebody did it on purpose, it's like, oh, come on. Unless they were feeder guppies. Which, let's, let's be real, that's their purpose in life. But let's start off on a good foot. You ready? I brought two world leaders who are mortal enemies. I brought them together. And I said, listen here, Donnie T. Joey B. I need a I need a duet. I need you guys to come together for one common cause. And they did. And this is the little ditty they came up with. Cool water flowing through my soul. Can you hear it? Feel it moving, making me Give me warm. thumbs up if it sounds the good. Of the deep blue sea. It grew so strong it sets me free. I will talk is what I need. Groove so smooth, it's guaranteed. Make me dance all night long. Aquafunk, my favorite song. The waves are crashing in time with the beat. The rhythm is calling, it's so sweet. I'm lost in the music, can't you see? Aquafunk, it's all I need. Aquafunk, it's what I need. Groove so smooth, it's guaranteed. To make me dance all night long. Aquafunk, my favorite song.
Okay, have a question. I am ready for that question. Um, do you know of any retail store that does discount programs for breeders, club members, etc.? Looking for options on starting something like that for my store. Okay, let me see. Uh, oh, that's kind of like two different things I hear going on in that question. You know, retail store. I don't, I, retail stores would be different, difficult because I don't know where you are in life. But I will say this about retail stores, looking for options on starting something like that for my store. So I'm assuming you have a online store. Please let me know, verify, give me a little bit more. What are you doing? Are you doing an online store? Crypto? I, I don't do crypto. I don't invest in crypto. P19, um, P101. For P, I, I, I mean, you're a bot anyway, so I don't even know. Have a store in Pennsylvania. Okay, so you have a store in PA. Um, and you're looking. I do not. I do not know. I, I do know if, if this is what I'm. I'm not a bot brother. Okay, well, it, I don't know the the P one zero one four. It, it kind of threw me off. I'm glad to have you in the chat, but I do not do crypto. Um, okay, so what I I feel like you're asking me is that do I know some type of program where breeders come to you with their fish? I think that's what you're asking asking me. I believe that's what you're asking me. Um. I, when I used to sell fish, right, when I used to breed angels and I would sell fish, um, a lot of retail stores were hesitant to um, deal with me because of, um, you know, they, 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 they wasn't, I want to offer discounts for customers that want to purchase breeder stock. Bro, honestly, you got to go to your local Facebook. They, honestly, I, I see what you're saying now. You got to go to your local Facebook. I, I, for the aquarium hobby, for local businesses, I'm going to tell you from a, a, and from firsthand witness accounts. I'm telling you myself. My my um sponsor, one of my sponsors from my channel, Consolidated Fish Farms, he is a fish farm that has opened up a retail store. Now, if you know anything about fish farms, they're normally tucked out of the way. Um, thank you so much, Lumpy Dog. Yeah, hit that like button if you don't mind. So they, he's he's tucked out of the way because he has fish farms. He needs his land, right, to put all his ponds in. But he opened up a retail store. And I am always baffled that when I walk in there, there's people in there. And I'm like, how do these people find you? Because... You have to know where the place is. To, he doesn't have signage. He doesn't go make a right here for consolidated. He doesn't have none of that. He just decided, oh, but he puts his stuff on Facebook. All right, hey, brother Ian, take it easy. Um, tell your mama I say hello. Give a big hug and kiss for me when you meet her. Um, Oh, re I do. We could talk about puff. We could talk about bicers in one minute. But let me talk about this retail store. Um, if you're doing anything where you're trying to up the ante on on that type of stuff, um, you know, you got to go with um, Facebook. Um, there's so many people, fish people, in your local. I would I would try and stick to local Facebook groups. But he's getting so much traffic from Facebook, local Facebook groups that, um, yo, what's up? Um, and if you just let them know what you're doing and people will come, but you got to go on your local Facebook groups. Um, I wouldn't so much try and do stuff out of state, you know, outside your area because, I mean, you can if, if they're real serious about it and you're willing to ship with them, whatever. But if you don't do shipping which a lot of uh, mom and pops do not do. Yeah, dude, if you have a, a pet store, a mom and pop um, LFS, if you're letting Facebook and Instagram slide by, you're doing yourself a huge disservice. So, Bicers, Bicers, uh, 
a fish that I'm pretty well versed in. I wouldn't say I'm the authority on it. Oh, do you? Well, then you're doing great. You're doing great. Um, you're, someone says they were researching bichers and Amazon puffers. Um, hopefully, you're going to put them in separate tanks. Bichers being from Africa and Amazon puffers obviously being from Amazon. The puffers, from what I understand, um, are difficult to put with a... Uh, 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 Tank mates, but if you can, love your dog a philanthropist, a philanthropist, a philanthropist. You know what I'm talking. He's just a nice guy. But the um the bicers, if you if you think about doing bicers, I would. And I'm not trying to promote my video. It's just a video that I did that I really have never seen anybody do. And um, I really think that for bicer keepers, it's very important at least to take a look at. Whether they believe in what I say or not, I don't know. I did a video on, I, I, I titled it on the thumbnail, We're doing, We've Been Doing It Wrong. If you look at big YouTubers, and, and somebody asked me this on the, on, recently actually, last week, they're like, if you look at big YouTubers with their monster tanks, they always have a bicer in a monster tank. And those monster tanks with those monster fish are always bare as a baby's butt. There ain't nothing in there. Maybe a log in the middle. And you rarely see the bicer moving around. He's normally tucked up underneath the log, you know, or laid up on the side. The truth of the matter is, if you ever read up on bicers in the wild... They always say the same thing. Heavily planted tanks. Um, densely planted tanks. And those two barbels on the front of their face, um, that helps them find stuff in that murky, heavily planted. They have a, a keen sense of smell. Now, I did me bicers in a tank, and what I did is I planted it heavily. And I found that the bicers were way more active. Way more active in a heavily planted tank. I appreciate your fish fam. Animal, what's up? They were moving around. They were playing with each other. They were playing with their environment. You'd see them swim and they'd lay on a leaf and just hang there kind of looking at you. You know? So, if you really, go, if you're going to get bichers and you really, really want to get the most out of them, their personalities, plant the hell out of your tank. I would put um, um, stem plants in there. Um... You know, Amazons, Amazon swords, other other stronger plants. Because they move through the foliage so much, and it's not just at the bottom, it's up at the top and everything. You might want to stick away, stick away, stay away from delicate plants that kind of shed a lot, like the the what's the stuff called that I hate it. I hate the stuff. What's that stuff called that it is like pine needles always dropping all the time? Hornwort. Stay away from hornwort. You know, you don't really want that. You know what else you might try, but I don't know how they'll do in your temperature. Um, I did this in an aquarium before, and I kept the temperature at um, 80 degrees, which I got some some effect out of some of the bulbs. I did pond bulbs, pond plants. I went to Home Depot and Lowe's. Um, you know, those places, I got a pack of those bulbs for ponds, and I put them in there. Oh, you never heard of hornwort? It's terrible stuff. Listen, some people love it. I'm going to be honest with you. If you're breeding and you try to grow out fry, it's good stuff. Um, but it never stays where you put it. Yeah, kabamba. I don't like kabamba either. But I really... Kabamba. I, I like saying kabamba. But I don't like having kabamba. But hornwort is... It, it just... I call it like the pine tree of the aquarium hobby. Because it, it has little... Their, their leaves are nothing but little sticks, you know, little green sticks. It's very lush. It's a very lush plant. It's thick and full, but it never stays put. It always gets kicked up all over the place, and it drops the little needles, and you end up having, like, all these little needles all over because it's a delicate plant. It doesn't really like to be pushed around um, because it'll, un, it'll, un, it'll come up from the ground. 
Yeah, everybody. La 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 kabamba. La 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 kabamba. Anyway. Ricky. Squirrel. No problem. Mm. Anyway. Um yeah, I would put I would put a and as far as your your um your Amazon puffers, there's so many different puffers, man. You, the big, little, all in between. Actually, there's not really in between. They're either really big or they're little. There's nothing like. Is there a puffer out there? Cause I'm not. Hey, we're all socially awkward. I'm gonna let you know right now. Fish people are the weirdest jokers I've ever met. They all have some type of issue going on. You know, it's the weirdest thing. Cause a lot of um. A lot of YouTubers, fish YouTubers, they all have social anxiety issues. To which I think is funny as hell because how you gonna have a social anxiety issue and then put yourself out there for people to, you know, judge you and mock you and all that stuff. But yeah, fish people are weird, man. Fish people are weird. They're hoarders. They be having a tank or fish tanks all over the place in their house. It smell like mildew. Um, they, they, they. They'll buy all this fancy stuff for their tanks, and then they'll be running around bummy because they ain't got no clothes. Avocado puffers top out at like four to five inches. Yeah, I want, I want, I want to know if there's a freshwater puffer about as big as a fist, as like an orange, an orange. Um, that would be a decent sized puffer. Is anybody out there know of, of a puffer? I'm not well versed on puffers, but yeah. What's up, Daniel? I used to have green spotted puffers. Mm-hmm. I had, I am be honest with you. I I had pee puffers. I can't stand them little jokers. They bored the hell out of me. Um, what's up, escapes? How you doing? I'm doing good. If uh, I hope you are too. If you could do me the greatest little favor of hitting the like button, I'd really appreciate it. If you're holding off on hitting the like button, you want to stick around. You be like, I don't know if this punk deserves my like. I'm gonna see what he's all about. Then I understand. I understand. Ask me a question. I'll answer any question you got. It's probably going to be completely made up. I'm going to be honest with you. In fact, from here on out, for the rest of the chat, every question anybody asks me, I'm going to boldface lie. Um, hey, it's the kid who hates the national. <laughs> All right. For those of you, I caught a puffer in a casting one time. Funk likes when you tickle the like button with your pointer finger. Hey, I don't care what you tickle the like button with as long as you tickle it. That's 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 all I'm saying. Um, well, I appreciate you, Daniel. So, um, what, what you're getting at, what he's getting at is, uh, where was it? Where is the comment? So, I, I, I mentioned... <laughs> I'm your favorite color. <laughs> oh, what's my favorite color? My favorite color is jello. Jello is my favorite color. That's not a lie. That's for real, though. Um, so, I mentioned on one of my things before. Um, hello, Emily. Um, I didn't say hello to you, but my favorite color is jello. The setups are doing awesome. They've all exploded. There's water all over the floor. Lumpy, I'm trying to answer bullshit BS questions, man. Omida's good today. I'm I, I love how you uh just singled out Omida like that. I don't know how I'm supposed to feel. I know the all subject, but what do you think about the earthquakes in New Jersey and New York? Well, like I said, I'm gonna answer every question totally wrong. So I don't think it was. I don't think it was an earthquake. I don't think it was an earthquake. I think it's the they see they're gonna build a huge train going from New York to New Jersey. I'm talking about the train is is humongous, man. It's like a four story train up and down, right? And it's it's at least um, fifty foot wide, side to side, four stories up. It's like, and they they built it, right? And I think it crashed. I think the underground train, the massive train crashed. 
um, excavate. See, Jeff, you know what I'm talking about, Jeff. Me and Jeff are right here with it. Me and Jeff are right here with it. Um, are you him? I don't know. Maybe I'm him. Maybe I'm not. Who's him? Oh, here we go with the Laffy Laffies. Um, hey, uh, Laffy Laffy boy. My mods don't like um, spamming channels. I don't know if you're going to make it, buddy. Oh, Sally, I'm glad you I glad I'm glad you like the um the um top fin thing. I actually had a lot of fun with that tank. Um S Sally watched one of my videos I did. It was it was a while ago. Um and I bought this little tank. It was so awesome. I just didn't like the the um what I didn't like about it was its filter setup. I don't I'm a firm believer in a lot of biological filtration and uh it, it, I didn't like how, that it didn't have a lot of biological filtration. So Sally, I'm glad you uh I'm glad you liked the video. I hope you uh <gasps> Jet, what happened, Jet? Animal got you. You should say This is a really deep topic. Have a good and blessed day. You too, Tim. Um Alright, Lita, what's the topic? Hey, do you like soccer or basketball I, I i don't like soccer at all i do not like soccer um so basketball hey this is a really deep topic be all right that's all right sally you know as as long as you you know and what i was trying to get out of that video um not only was i doing the the review but i also wanted to um highlight the my my thoughts on the biological filtration that was the only thing i didn't like about it but um yeah a lot of biological filtration they didn't have it so i got the okay all right tell everyone about how you okay okay i'm sorry all right so national anthem i am a united states army infantry vet i was born in brooklyn new york I'm as American as flung. <laughs> Not apple pie. I'm Puerto Rican, so flung. And I know that nobody wants to say this because it sounds unpatriotic. But I'll be the one to say it, and I don't care. The national anthem is boring. I'm a Gen Xer. I grew up listening to music, hip-hop, pop. All that stuff, and all you Gen Xers will agree that our era of music was very was in flux. It went from old school, and it, it was the influx into the new school. So we have very eclectic flavors when it comes to music. I'm gonna tell you right now, the national anthem will put you to sleep. No, nobody know the words to it. It's boring. It's it. And nobody goes, oh, time for the anthem. Everybody stand up. Stand up. Stand up. We're going to do the anthem. We're going to do the anthem. No. No. I'd rather do the chicken dance. I'd rather do the chicken song than do the national anthem. Do I like bass? I do like bass. Um, all right. Let's go. I'm going to try. What, what biological filtration media would you add? There's a whole section for it honestly um the easiest biological filtration to add to any system would be a bio sponge now there's sponges they come in different um they call pp ppis pores per it pores per inch that means how many holes within an inch square um, go with a middle grade pores per inch. If you do it where the, the holes are so little, they get clogged up a little fast. Um, if you do it with the pores big, sometimes if you have baby fish fry, they get stuck in there. The idea is, is the more surface media you have, the more stuff for um, biological filtration, um, um, beneficial bacteria to stick to, the more you can have. Um, whereas a medium grade bio sponge, which you could get off Amazon, you can just look up um, aquarium bio sponge and it comes in different things. You can actually cut it out to fit specific places. 
Um, I would go with a medium grade, medium PPI bio sponge. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's boring. It is. I don't. Anybody in here love the national anthem as is? Can I see the eight print? What you think about that? See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. What song starts with Jose? Can you see? <laughs> Lumpy, you wild, brother. Um, Aquafunk, my dad is Michael Jackson. Your dad is Michael Jackson. I, I don't know about that. Michael Jackson. What's t well, hey, if your dad is Michael Jackson, let me get some. Can you, can you give me a super chat? Because I know you flush with dough. I know you got some money. Hit me up with a thousand dollar super chat. I know you got it. I know you got it. I do. Th I'll do that. Can I see the eight thing? Yeah. Hey, Michael Jackson's kid. Yo, just a little super chat to show your appreciation. Um, that'd be awesome. I know you got the dough. You know, whatever happened to the monkey? Where'd the monkey go in the giraffes? Where'd they go? In the West Side Song. Um, Funk got on my... You like that? You like that? I ain't gonna lie to you. Walmart got some hot shirts sometimes. I, Walmart got some hot... Now, I, you know what I need to get? I need to get the old dirty bastard. Um, uh, 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 um, whatchamacallit, um, ID... The um the uh welfare ID. That's what I need to get. The old dirty bastard welfare ID. I need to get a picture of old dirty bastard up here. He's such a such an influence in my life. You know, I, I I don't I don't know. Michael Jackson kid! Where you at with my dough? Anyway. Hey, who here? Okay, I'm going to be honest with you. I know a lot of people think I'm silly. They were like, what? You were born in Brooklyn and you saying what? I'm not a super big fan of Biggie. I don't hate him. I'm not going to turn him off. And I am East Coast till I die. But um, I'm a huge fan of um, Tupac. Um... I know people are like, oh my God, I have so much raw ground beef in my. Hold on, wait, 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 Freestyle for us, big dog. I, 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 I'm not a, I'm not a dope rapper. I tell you what, I can tell you what, Charlie. No lie, no, no lie. Um, I do a super chat rap, right? It's a silly little ditty I did. Um, that if someone leaves a five dollar super chat or better, I do a little ditty in appreciation of the. But that's all I got. That's all I got. I don't have anything more than that. I have a Biggie shirt and Aaliyah. I'm talking about the dude talking about he got raw ground beef somewhere. And your tidy whities right there. Oh, tidy whities. Okay, I see it now. It took a little while for the thing. You got, you got raw ground beef all up in your drawers? You're a freak. Oh, that is awesome. Well, I mean... Tracy, you just can't write $100 on there. That ain't how it works. You're trying to be slick. Tracy, try to be slick. Okay, here, there's $100. Tracy, you silly. You silly. So you got raw ground brief in your drawers? Is it lean or is it the stuff that's really got a whole lot of fat in it? Like, do you, do you wiggle? When you sit down in the drawers, do you just kind of like... What do you do after the fat? 
What's up, man? I'm talking about dude got a, a whole bunch of ground beef in his underwear. Do, do you when you sit down on the ground beef, like do you wiggle? What happens when it gets hot outside? Does it cook? Tracy, two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. You gotta hit the little money sign, Tracy. You gotta hit the little money sign. The juice must drip when you sit with that beefy juice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is, dude, that, I, is it soothing? That's what I'm saying. Like, is it soothing on your hiney hole? Hey, Solo on pause. I don't know. The dude told me he got a whole bunch of ground beef in his drawers. I don't, I'm trying to figure out what's, what's, what's it. I hope that he comes back with more stuff because you can't just make a comment like that. Just in case what is up. You can't make a comment like I got a whole bunch of ground beef in my drawers and my tidy whities And then when I start talking about it, he's going to shut. Be quiet about it. Come on, man. Come back with some stuff. People want to know. What colors is your tidy whities after it's done? How much money do you need? I Hey, hey. 250k is what you put up there. I, I, I'll be I'll be happy with that. Um, do live plants grow with small LED lights? All right, Sally. So, listen, I'm all about having fun. I really am. But whenever somebody has a um, whenever somebody has a uh, a serious aquarium question, that's what I do. I that's what this channel is here for. So, Sally. You can, depending on how big the light is, you you can use like desktop LEDs. Now, it will keep your plants alive, um, but it will not uh, really do much for um, growing them. Some plants you will, like like I had a little tank, I had a little three gallon tank, right? And you know those little desktop LEDs, the circle ones? I had it pointing on there. I had Anubius in there, and the Anubius, the Anubius lived. It was, it did not die, it was doing great. Um, I did have also some um, Java Fern in there that kind of liked too. So basically, that light will work on a small tank for plants to do, that do not require a lot of light. So your Anubias, your Nana Petites, um, stuff like that. I would I would not be afraid to put a small LED light on a small tank. The problem you run into is if you try and put it on a big tank, the PAR does not reach down. It's called PAR. Is, basically how much light reaches the bottom of the tank having to filter itself through all that water. Um, you can go to Home Depot and get a, te uh, a queer, get lights, LED lights from Home Depot that are brighter, but to um, depend it all depends on how big the tank is. If you have a small tank, a desktop LED light will keep your plants alive, and to be honest, you keep your algae down too. To be honest, because it's not all that strong. All right, here we go. I'm sorry for bringing it back to no, Sally. This is an aquarium channel. Fish is what we do. When there's nobody talking about fish, um, then we act silly. So you are the reason for the season. Um, can you please say, Ruby? What's up, Ruby? How you doing? Hey, how are you doing? I'm doing good, leading. He's in all that live same beef in there. Okay, I don't know what that says. My brother ate our pet fish two years. <laughs> okay, explain yourself. You can't say stuff like you put beef in your drawers and um, you, how did your brother eat your fish? I did see a video with a friend of mine. His name was um, uh, um, Fish Keep in Jamaica. His son did put a guppy in his water. And he unknowingly drank his guppy. I did. I did witness that. That was pretty cool. That was good. Ruby, how many people want me to say Ruby? What kind of fish your brother eat and how? Yeah, what kind of fun fish was it? I want to know. Don't say aquatic. If you say aquatic, we're gonna ban you.
Oh, here we go. Mark. I don't know what to say about you, Mark. I don't know what about me or this channel would make you believe that this is a political channel, Mark. You got something else to say? Hey, Mark, you want to hear something? Mark, this is for Mark right here. Mark, let me tell you something. It don't matter who you pick for. They're all a bunch of conniving, uh, sneaky, uh, you know. Look, let me listen to you. Mark, I hope you're listening, brother. I hope you're listening. Water flowing through my soul. That's that's Joey B right there. Oh, CK. Nobody was home and he was hungry. Well, y'all need to leave him a bowl or something. See? Look. Joey B and Donnie T did a song for me. They like each other. They're friends. They got each other. They got phone numbers. They binge watch Netflix movies on the phone. Talking about, oh, this is gonna happen. That's I can't believe so and so cheated on so and so. Gorilla Drip. <laughs> what made me start doing live streams? Um, you really want me to go to the beginning on what made me start? I'll tell you what made me start. Um, it was me and two other um guys. We uh we used to watch live streams and while we thought they were cool and all that, we would talk on the phone. It was two other fish tubers from different parts of the country and we would talk on the phone and we would have a good time and we would laugh about different subjects and we thought to ourselves, you know what, I bet people would love to hear this instead of the same old stuff that nor that, that normally goes on in aquarium fish streams, which could get kind of dry. I mean, let's be real, aquarium fish streams normally end up, what's up, Mike loves life. Hey, um, so me, I'll tell you the names, the dude's name was called Andy's Angels and Rob93. And we would always talk on the phone and we would crack up talking about this, that, when it came to fish, da, da, da. and we thought to ourselves, you know, I bet people talk like we do all the time, but when they get on live streams, there's only one dude talking about, uh, you know, water changes and this and that, and it's boring as hell. So we decided... Yeah, the good old days. So we was like, yeah, let's let's do something different. Let's all three have a live stream um, where we talk and we have fun. And, um, you know, whether it be um, talking about fish or talking about this or that, wherever it leads us. We'll try and stick with fish, but if it goes somewhere else, then fine. What's up, Emily? How you doing? Um, Atlas, hello. How you doing? Um, and that's how it started. But I, I realized while doing live streams... That people thought I was funny. Um, so, but but I really, I really, the funny part, you know, that could be kind of stressful when people are always trying to get you to be funny. Let's all sing a song about justice for the poor. <laughs> Tracy, you haven't even sent me the money yet. You sent me the dough? We go ahead and we'll sing it. You said $250,000, Tracy. I will sing you your song for that. Two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. So, um, I really enjoy helping people. Like Sally, you know, that's what I really, really. When I turn on the live button, that's what I'm hoping happens. That I could help people. Um, it doesn't always turn out that way though, but I continue to go live in hopes that somebody like Sally um, will show up and ask for, for help, and I'll be there for that. You know. And until then, I'll just have to deal with, you know, a lot of the craziness that goes on in between. Um, to come before any of those new laws. Wow. Emily. Uh, Emily, I don't know what the hell you talking about. Um, the first time you were able, you and you had to do something about the situation you had with your family. You had a good relationship, and I was very proud to have met your mother. I am very happy that she continue that. I'm I'm really curious, Emily, what 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 you was gonna say after that. 
I'm really happy. I'm uh, anyway. Um, Sally, no problem. Like I said, um, I know Tr Tr Tracy's not sending no money. Tracy, you hurt my feelings. Tracy, you got me all excited about two hundred fifty thousand dollars, and now I get nothing. You know what? You know what that's called? A tease. You tease me, Tracy, and that's not cool to tease. Um, but yeah, if anybody has any questions, uh, what's up, Thomas? Hi, she's writing a book. Okay, Emily, you got a drug problem? Emily, you need to seek some professional help. Anyway, uh, yeah, I was too. Okay, I don't. Hey, Sola, you you know what? I'm disappointed in you, Sola. You came in with the fire. Sola came in the chat with straight fire. He was like, yo, I got a whole lot of ground beef in my tidy whities And then kind of just mellowed out after that, man. I was having fun with that whole thing. <laughs> hey, Lumpy ain't lying. Lumpy ain't lying. I got the attention span of a goldfish. I can't, I, I, I don't, I don't got a good brain and everything looks blurry. <laughs> Play with my emotions. <laughs> hey, uh, look, for those of you. Please don't take anything I say with any kind of disrespect or seriousness. Lumpy Dog will tell you I am the I am the least serious person in the world when it comes to this YouTube thing. When it comes to my family and all that, that's serious. In my real life, that's serious. But I don't take anything to heart. I enjoy playing with people, being silly. I do, I, if I don't know what you're saying, it's probably not because you're saying it wrong or incorrect. Is I can't read a lot of this stuff. Where my glasses at? Where my glasses at? They glasses are new to me, right? But they messed up on my glasses. They messed up, so I don't really use them for two reasons. Look at that. Look 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 at that right there. What the hell is that? That's why I don't wear my glasses on a live stream. She was using. Yeah. My favorite car, honestly, I had a, a 5.0 and that was my favorite car. In fact, that's what car I had when I met Mida. Remember that 5.0, babe? That car was sexy. Stale hot dogs. I'm doing good, stale hot dogs. Um, but that's why you see Mida in there. Sometimes Mida comes in the room on Wednesday night. Wednesday's nights. Um, all right. So, the okay, <laughs> solar eclipse. Nobody has ever asked me to um, explain the solar eclipse. But here we go. Are you serious? You want me to explain to you the solar eclipse? Um it's really simple. The moon moves in front of the sun and everything gets dark because now we are in the moon's shadow. That's all that is. You know, like right now, if that's the sun, if my um, ring light is the sun and um, I, my face is the earth and this bag right here is the thing, is, is the moon then as the moon moves in between the sun and the earth, everything gets darker. But this is a super big ring light, so it's not covered. But you can see the shadow. That's all that is. That's all that is. That's all that is. Uh, yeah, me and my youngest, she's uh, occupying Midas, so Midas can't be. Bro, you look Asian with those... That's right. That's right. 
I want to give you a shout out, Solar, but you, you, you kind of disappointed me when you came in hot with the with the beefy draws and then let us down. But I'll go ahead because you gave me a little bit of you gave me a little bit of uh, excitement um, coming in. Solar. Hold on, wait. What's, what's your whole name? Solar on Pauls. What's up? How you doing? No wrong answer. No, that was a rat. <laughs> you want me to go back to the solar eclipse? All right, so the real answer, that's the answer that that um, the mainstream media would like for you to know that it's something going across the sun like that. But the real answer is it's a giant serpent from Egypt times. It's a god, Ra. Um, the sun is Ra, and the serpent is another god. I think it's Horus. And the serpent is going to eat the sun, right? At least that's what they're saying on TikTok. It's going to eat the sun, plunging the world into darkness. We're going to freeze death. Crops are going to die. It's going to be mass hysteria. Cats and dogs living together. Anyway, that's the truth. That's the truth. Um, explain Bloods and Crips which side you own. I am on Aquafunk's side. Um, but gang members, gang culture in general is an interesting phenomena in that I understand where it comes from. Funk did it right way. The <laughs> wife. First it was motorcycles. Then it was. Then it turned into fish tank. All right. I don't... Man, what, what happened? It was a giant serpent, Sally. Sally, having a name like Sally, do you have a lot of idiots coming up to you? Like, oh, can you say Sally? Say the seashore, the seashore. I just imagine that would be a thing. I was letting my keyboard finish. Okay, the census, and that's why my senses. No, I'm, I'm... Emily, we cool, Emily. Hey, no problem, Solar. I'm still waiting on that money, though. I don't know. It's Tracy for the money. Tracy was the money. Yes. Um, so, okay, here it is. I used to be into... Uh, I used to be seriously into motorcycles. And I, I, in my core, I still wish I was into motorcycles. I, I just... I don't see why it has to be one or the other. I could do both. But my hands would be greasy. That would be a problem for fish keeping. But I do love motors. I love um, I love cafe racers. I love naked bikes. I love. I'm not big on choppers because um, structurally they're terrible to ride. Um, I I was a Harley Davidson mechanic for um, a a bit. But yeah, I do like motors. If I had the opportunity to have extra time and money and space to do motorcycles again, I definitely would do both. But I don't have, um, I don't have that. So, um, would a crip keep all blue fish and blood? <laughs> I would imagine so, because that you'd have to shoot your tank. You know what I mean? You paka 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 paka. If it was the wrong color fish, you make a mess. You know? Um, I'm good. I'm good, shady. I'm good. What's your favorite fish? I gotta be honest with you. I have a lot of favorite fish depending on what time, what what uh, what day of the week it is but I, I would have to say angelfish are my all-time favorite even though right now i do not have any angelfish there's a good reason why i do not have angelfish but it would have to be angelfish are my favorite fish what is my favorite song emily my favorite song all right emily let me let me let me give you my favorite song um i have a lot of favorite songs but i gotta be honest with you Water through my soul. Oh, I feel it moving, making me whole. Ooh. A funky rhythm and a deep groove <gasps> so strong, it sets me free. I will fuck with what I need. Right? So Come on now. That's everybody's favorite song. The waves are crashing in time to the beat. The rhythm is calling, it's so sweet. I'm lost in the music, can't you see? Aqua funk, it's all I need. Aqua funk, 
it's what I need. Groove so smooth, it's guaranteed. To make me dance all night long. Aqua Funk, my favorite song. I'll tell you in a second, Sally. Matthew, yeah, it's getting that time of year. All right. Um, it's getting to be well, that time of the year. So I'll tell you why I don't keep angelfish right now. And yes, it is getting that time of year. And why is my thing vertical? Is because I reach a completely different audience. Audiences that don't know as much about aquariums as the horizontal. So if I'm trying to help people out, I need to go to where the people are that need my help. Um if I go horizontal, all I get is a bunch of people that already know about aquariums. Um, and what's the point? You know what I mean? But vertical, I go to new people who are interested and, you know, maybe they're interested, but they didn't want to ask. So that's why I'm vertical. Why I do not keep, uh, why I do not have angelfish right now? Um, and yet, where do you live at that you put tiger shovel nose outside? Um, I, I'm thinking you probably live in Florida. But Sally, the reason why I don't keep angelfish right now, um, and I'll tell you my dream fish in a second, Matthew. The reason why I don't keep angelfish right now is because as far as angelfish goes, I feel like I've done everything there is to do. I've kept angelfish in heavily planted tanks. I've kept angelfish in um, bare bottom tanks. Nothing in there, just a box with Maybe one thing in the middle. I've kept angelfish in big groups. I've kept singles. I've bred on my bread for profit. I've bred to change up, you know, to get different results in coloration and finish. I feel like as far as domesticated designer angelfish go, I call the domesticated designer angelfish the ones that you buy at your local pet store. You know, the koi's, the super reds, the blues. They don't exist in nature. Um... I call them designer angelfish, which is pretty much all the angelfish you ever see. I don't have any, they don't bring me any excitement. They don't, there's nothing to learn. Um, I want to keep angelfish. I would love to have me um, like an 800 gallon tank, you know, those plywood tanks and stuff like that with a group of six wild caught angelfish because I want to see how wild angelfish in a biotope with um you know dither fish that's from the how they act because i watch a lot of nature videos concerning angelfish and i don't see things that happen in my aquarium happening in those videos and i want to experience that for myself so um as far as angelfish goes i want to do something that i haven't done before and angelfish i've kind of done it all um You live right next to me, Sada? <laughs> hey, dang you, the song, it gets you, man. It gets you. Um, a dream fish, honestly, it would have to be, like I just said, uh, a, 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 a six, a bunch of six um, wild caught autumns. I mean, I want to do the autumns and the Leopoldi and some. Um, um, angelfish nanny, some, um, some nannies or whatever, but I want, I want to do those wild caught in a very large biotope so I can see them in, as, as much in a natural habitat as possible. Um, bye. Thanks for the shout out. Ain't no problem. So have a good day. Have a good weekend. North Carolina, late April, May to September. I keep them in the pond. Now say word, word, John, most underrated fish are the ones that, clean the tank and move coral around now you're talking about salt water um for me yeah the the most underrated fish as salt water goes is the lawnmower blennies and the convict gobies and the the um dude i have a i have a sea hare which is basically a slug um and it cleans the hell out of a tank better than any hermit crab or anything I've ever had. In fact, to be honest with you, um, as far as salt water goes, it's the invertebrates that I get more of a, um, you know, the, the feather dusters, the shrimp, 
the 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 anemones and stuff like that I, I get more enjoyment out of. I have kept discus and I'm gonna be honest with you. Okay, here's my thing. Um Daniel, discus are pretty cool fish to have, but I feel like they're more of a what's the word I'm looking for? People keep them because they're expensive. And at one point, they were known to be delicate. So if you kept discus, that meant two things. You was a bomb-ass fish keeper, and you had money. They were more of a status symbol. But to be honest with you, if you ever kept discus, they don't really do a whole lot of interesting things. They don't. You know, I mean, discus that are mating that are spawning and the little fry eating off the mother. That's the most interesting thing about discus in my opinion. Are they beautiful? Yup. But the actual, um, their behavior and their movements and their, you know, they, they, it's not very, there's not, not a whole lot to talk about, to be honest with you. Great question. What are the best to clean the tank that can live with guppies in a three gallon? Honestly, okay, um, Sally, Get yourself one Odo fish. They call autosynclesis. Autosynclesis? One Odo fish would do wonders in a three gallon tank. It's one out. Now, don't let them sell you a Chinese algae eater. When they're little, they look similar. Chinese algae eaters are gangsters. They're just evil things. One autosynclesis would do great. Um, one. Um, mystery snail or one or maybe one or two neurite snails um, none of them the mystery snail they lay eggs but they're not going to do it in your three gallon because they have to climb up and lay this egg pouch so you really don't have to worry too much unless well, I mean it's possible but not probable um, the neurite snails do not reproduce in fresh water and if you only have one auto well, I don't know anybody who breeds autos but autos, um, mystery snails, one mystery snail because it'll get this big. You know what I mean? Um, or maybe like two or three neurite snails would do good. And if you have a snail problem, then you could... Those are the best ones. Those are the best ones. That's what I would suggest. Uh, have you ever kept discus? Great question. Okay, that's for that one. People learning... People meeting up in North Carolina... Oh, babe, is that her? How you built tanks for? Babe, is that is that the next door neighbor? No. Oh. How much how how much you built tank how I don't understand that, John. One more time, please. Um, thanks so much, Al Funk. Have a great day. Is this every Saturday? Yeah, every Saturday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And um, Wednesdays at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Times. Um, I do do this. I do this. Um, hey, Sola, I appreciate you. I want a Gobi, Amanda. You know what? Oh, okay, John. So listen, for those of you who are freshwater... You're going to have to excuse me. I do have salt water tank. But uh, I had a mandarin goby. And you know what I learned about mandarin gobies? I, you have to see them eat at the fish store. And let me tell you why. So I started this tank. And um, the salt water tank. And I let it cycle and all that. And I ended up getting with a, a mass amounts of copepods. Right? Um, which is good. The copepods... It's part of the, the, you know, the, the circle of life. They just kind of appear. And they started um, eating up all my algae. But there was a lot of copepods and little white specks moving around the tank. Didn't cause a problem. It was just kind of unsightly a little bit. Anyway, I got me a mandarin goby. And I put the mandarin goby in the tank. And the mandarin goby started eating the copepods. Which is good. You know, I didn't have the copepods. The mandarin goby was eating. 
But the problem happened when he ate up all the Kobo pods. He was not eating the prepared food I provided for him. So he literally starved himself to death. So if you do... All right, take it easy, Sally. If you do get Mandarin Gobies, make sure they're eating prepared food before you buy them. Because mine starved itself. How much fish do you have? Um, I have... That's a hard question because I've started getting into nano tanks, so um, I can't count, count each individual fish. There's a bunch of individuals. You, you, when you're asking questions like that, you, you kind of want to stick to how many tanks and what type of tanks they have. For instance, outside I have a tank with a female, um, one tank outside in the living room with a female flower horn in it. Okay, I got this mini reef tank. I have... This tank right here that has a breeding pair of crebenzas. So there's baby fish in there, right? There's a mom and a dad. Then I have other nano tanks that I, I'm not going to flip it around right now. Um, because I just have everything set up to the point where I can't do that. Um, I will tell you the main species in the tank. Right now, this tank that I'm pointing at, you can't see it, but is it? that's a ram. I got a ram cichlid in there. Um, it's a nano tank. Um, I have... Um, dither fish in there. I got coolie loaches. I got some neons. And I got some odos. In the tank next to it, I got um, some green barbs. And I got the, um, the main attraction to that tank coming. I'm very excited. But pretty much a stir buys, green barbs, long fin pleco. Next to it, I have a, a rare green, neon green paradise garami with some... Um, Rainbow Daniels, and beside that, I have um, albino barbs with a long fin pleco and long fin cory cats. And I have an empty tank, and then I have a tank with compressor steps and um, calvuses. So it's hard, you know what I mean? Like, I'd be here like one, two, three. I can't do that. Good advice. Thank you. The most common breed in my tank. Now, that's that's. That's the part that I'm liking about nano tanks. I'm not solar. I'm not necessary. I, I'm not a, a, when I say nano tanks, I'm talking about little tanks. These are 15 gallon. These are 15 gallon innovative marine all inclusives. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, recently, I started downsizing where I was with doing 55s and 75s and big tanks. Well, they're not big by other people's means, but they were bigger. I, I, I downsized. So I don't have as many, I don't have the big tanks, the water volume. What I do have are a lot of smaller individual tanks that I could uh, um, get different things. So each tank has a different themed fish in it. Um, so one will be a ram, one will be a different type of species. One will, So I could do a bunch of different things. So it's not just one individual species. Um, so I don't have a, a common breed and that's what I'm trying not to do. Have go heavy into one. What's up? Um, select. What's up, Catherine? What's up, Tilson? How you, is, am I saying that right? Tilson's? Where am I from? I am from up and down the East coast, but I think you're asking me my nationality. I'm born in Brooklyn. Um, but I am Puerto Rican by blood. Hey, if you guys enjoy yourself so far, please, um, tag that like button. It really does do a lot for the channel. And, um, it, it, it lets the algorithm know that this channel and this chat is really worth watching. If you feel it's not worth watching, I'm sorry. I'll try better next time. I really am not. This is pretty much all you're going to get me. You got it right. What's going on? Okay. No, just hanging out, you know, talking to the peoples, trying to help people out with their fish problems if they have any fish problems. Some people don't have fish problems. They just want to talk and, and have a good time, and I'm there for that too. I really am. Because let's be real. We're not always 100% talking about fish, right? Like, we don't go... 
we don't go talk to other fish people and only talk about fish. We talk about other things, right? We talk about silly stuff. Most of the time, I just sit around and wait for trolls to come at me. <laughs> and I try to help people out in between. Select, you rock. You rock, Select. Select pets rock like a funky pair of gym socks. But, anyway, that's that's where I'm at now on my aquarium keeping thing. And, and like I said, um, when it's time to move, hopefully, you know, there is a move in the future. Uh, my fish problem is enough is never enough. Exactly, that's because you got that multi-tank syndrome. I'm happy to say, I'm happy to say, though, I feel like I've got, a grip on my MTS, my multi-tank syndrome, um, MTA, multi-tank addiction, whatever you are. I feel like I got a good grip on it. I feel like I have um, self-control to a point, to a point to where I go, no, that's that's just ridiculous. But I don't, right now, I don't have the urge to get more tanks at all. Hey, what's up? You're him. Yo, I'm back, and you're still him. I am still him, and you're back. So, hey, um, I don't have the urge to get more tanks. What, I'm, what I have the urge for is to make the individual tanks perfect. You see what I'm saying? With the perfect stocking, the per perfect types of fish, the perfect amount, the perfect plants, the perfect. That's, that's, that's what I'm really into right now. It's funny because... Fish keepers go through swings over what type of... Oh, I'm a nano fish. Um, I appreciate you. I really... I do I do appreciate the subs. I really do. Um, it really it really is validation that... Okay, so... There's this thing going around where people are buying ads to promote their channel. And I'm not against it. I'm not against it. I just, I don't see where financially it makes sense. Because if I'm, yeah, we are, hey, I don't think we ever totally are cured of MTS. Okay, so this whole phenomenon of people buying ads, promotions, it's legal through YouTube. YouTube promotes it. I don't have a problem with it. Um, but I, I see I see some channels growing exponentially in subs, and I, I've looked into it. I know it costs. It costs money. And I don't see the point in raising your sub count if you're not raising your revenue to support, you know, to support it. So, because you don't get paid from YouTube by how many subs you have. You get paid from YouTube by how much people are viewing your channel, ad revenue. How often are they are they watching your channel? Are they clicking on your channel? Um, are they watching all the way through so that they could get the ads that people that YouTube slides in? That's how you get paid. You don't get paid by having a buttload of subs if nobody watches, right? And I know the idea is, I'll, first I'll get them a sub and then I'll come up on their queue and they'll watch me and then that, but I don't think that's really how it goes. You feel me? Um, I feel like, all right, all right, babe, thank you. Um, I feel like if you get to know me as an individual, like right now, you're like, oh, this guy, he seems kind of cool, da, 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 I'll sub to him. And now that I'm sub to you, if I do a video, when I do a video, it comes across your queue. On your suggested, um, you'd be like, "Oh, that's that guy. Let me see what he does for a regular, you know, gig." Like, I know the the live streams are fun, but I am a content creator first, live streamer second. Then you watch it, and out of enjoyment from the live stream and enjoyment from what you're re what you're watching, you'll watch the I get the ad revenue, and then boom. So while I do not dis I, I don't dog people for doing what they're doing because 
Whatever you feel you have to do to for your channel, most definitely do it. It's your channel. Do with it as you please. For me, it's not. It doesn't make financial sense. You know, it, it'll give me a false idea of where I'm at in people's minds. You know what I'm saying? So that's why um, I appreciate when people sub to me because they enjoy me as a person or my content, which my content, listen, I'm not saying nothing any different than anybody else. I'm just saying it in a different manner. You feel me? Like, you can watch plenty of videos that I've done where my information is the same as the next guy's information. It's just the way I deliver it may be a little bit more palatable to weirdos. So I appreciate your sub. Um, I really do because it is validation that people like me. They like me. <laughs> Um, I hear some people even call themselves angel freaks to help explain their content and get views. <laughs> you want to know? The, I, so are you, are you, I guess you are. Um, um, yeah, I used to, uh, and that did explain my content. I used, when I first started out, Aquafunk was the name of the channel. Angel freak was what I called myself. Actually, it was J the Angel Freak. So it was Aquafunk Aquatics with J the Angel Freak. And I felt like Aquafunk Aquatics, the word, you know, aqua had to do with, um, you know, aquariums, water. Funk had to do with, you know, my whole thing. Yeah, I know. I remember. I do. I, so the word funk had to do with my whole vibe. Um, my name is J. And I was a angel freak. So I felt like that name explained everything anybody needed to know about me and what I was about. Which it did. It did. But it was long. And most people don't call people by their entire channel names. So they ended up calling me um, the easiest words out of that whole scenario, which was Aquaphone. So and then I was like, okay... That whole, everybody just calls me Aquafunk. So let me just change my channel name to Aquafunk Aquatics, which I did, which was fine. But I got really tired of seeing so many aquatics. You go to a chat, it was like so and so aquatics, Billy Bob's aquatics. Though so it, it was so many aquatics, and I was like, it gets to the point where I don't even. I feel like having the word aquatics or tanks or cichlids um, or aquariums kind of made you the same as a bunch of other people. So I just took off the aquatics. Not only did I take off the aquatics to kind of, you know, you know, step, a step outside of that whole thing. But I also took off the aquatics because I wanted people to be curious. Aqua funk. Huh? Obviously, if you're a fish person, you're drawn to that. But if you're not a fish person, you're curious about it. So, Aquafunk. Do, 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 do. Hey, everybody, I surely do appreciate um, um, you guys spending time with me. I really do. Um, I got a lot of stuff to do today. I hope you guys have a good weekend. Wednesday... At 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I will be back on live and in full effect. Uh, Mida will probably be here. Maybe. And when I say here, she's going to be off to the side giggling. And you'll hear a voice for all you weirdos, sickos. Later, y'all. I have... Oh, wait, wait. I have a Pima in a 30-gallon tank. Well, good luck with that, the bop. Your are Pima in your 30-gallon tank. Let me know how that works out for you Wednesday at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time.